One of the most advanced, scientific, and accurate ways to show how much better the S1 Lifer helmet is versus the traditional soft foam skate helmet is to actually test these in an accredited, independent, third-party testing facility. This is the S1 Lifer helmet, which is constructed with our patented blend of EPS Fusion Foam. This is a traditional soft foam skate helmet, which is constructed with soft foam inserts. We're gonna put helmets onto this head form that has an accelerometer in it that measures impact energy. The head form is connected to a computer that measures the amount of impact that gets to the head in a simulated impact. If the helmet doesn't have adequate protection, it will fail the test and could possibly cause a serious brain injury. Without any helmet on the head form, if we bring this up to six and a half feet and drop it down onto the hazard, it is gonna generate 1,000 Gs worth of force to the head form. The reason that you wear a helmet is to buffer or disperse the amount of impact energy that gets to your head. In order to pass the high impact test, the helmet must reduce 1,000 Gs worth of energy to under 300 Gs. Anything over 300 Gs fails the test. We have the soft foam helmet on the head form now. We're gonna bring it up to six and a half feet, drop it from the drop tower and see how it performs. So we have the results here for the soft foam helmet. Uh, we had it up at six and a half feet, dropped it down to a flat surface, which is generating 1,000 Gs worth of energy to the head form. This helmet only reduced the energy pulse five Gs. It got a peak acceleration G of 995. So that means that all of the impact energy was going straight through this helmet and getting to the head form. To pass this test, you have to get a test under 300 Gs. This is more than three times that amount. This helmet fails the high impact test. We have the S1 Lifer helmet on the head form now. We're gonna bring it up to six and a half feet, drop it from the drop tower and see how it performs. So we have the testing results here for the S1 Lifer helmet, which we dropped from the same distance we dropped the soft foam helmet, which generated 1,000 Gs worth of energy. The S1 Lifer helmet took that 1,000 Gs and reduced it to 253 Gs, which is a pass for the high impact test. Basically what you're seeing is that the soft foam helmet is allowing the impact energy to go directly through the helmet and get to the head form. With the S1 Lifer helmet, the fusion foam is crushing that energy and dispersing it out and reducing it four times the amount the soft foam helmet did. The S1 Lifer helmet passes the high impact test. What we wanted to do today was show you in a scientific manner the difference between how the S1 Lifer helmet and a soft foam helmet absorb impact energy. What we found was that the Lifer helmet with fusion foam reduced and absorbed energy much more effectively than soft foam helmets. The S1 Lifer helmet, a better, safer helmet.